If you don't get spiritual, now hear me good. God wants you to live in the best, drive the best, wear the best, and have the best. You know, I believe in the blessing of God. I believe 3 John 2, beloved, that would above all things that thou mayest what? Prosper and be in good health, even as I so prosper. I believe Psalm 37 and 4, that if I delight myself in him, he'll give me what? The desires of my heart. I believe St. John 14, 13, it says if I ask anything in his name, he'll do it that the Father may be glorified. I believe all of those blessings and Deuteronomy 28 says if you hearken diligently into the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all the commandments that he's commanded you to do this day then will I cause you to ride high above the nations. You'll be blessing the cities, blessing the field, bless when you come, bless when you go, the fruit of your own. I believe all of that. You understand? I believe that God wants you blessed. I believe Proverbs 13 22 that the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. I believe Psalm 112 and 3 that wealth and riches are shall be in your house i believe job 36 11 that if you obey and serve him you'll spend your years in pleasure and your days in prosperity are you listening to me i believe in all of that i believe god wants you to be blessed i believe he wants you to live in the best draft the best wear the best but you got to listen to me because what's getting ready to happen in our country you're gonna have to preach more than about money because there's getting ready to be a change in currency and if there's a change in currency all the money you got ain't gonna mean nothing you're not listening to me so what they're not preparing you for is what's getting ready to happen in America and the church is in trouble because we're busy preaching what people want to hear we're preaching a message that make people feel good we're preaching a message that don't want to agitate and irritate nobody and nobody wants to call God nobody wants to call sin sin because we say you're judging people hold on I don't preach the Bible based on what I'm doing do you know I got to preach this even when it hits me that's why Hebrews 4 and 12 declares that the word of God is quick powerful sharper than any two edges world. what do you mean it cuts going in and it cut going out I can't change the Bible to make it mean what I want it to mean if the Bible said you got to be holy everybody got to be holy your mama your daddy your sister the bishop the apostle everybody got to be holy are you listening to me night but there's a spirit in the land where people are changing the bible to make it mean what they want it to mean and they say well there's a demon spirit and the name of the spirit is called you can't judge me that's the name of that spirit don't judge me you can't tell me what's wrong with me the devil is a liar i'm not judging you but the bible declares that he who is spiritual judges in all things you're not listening i'm not judging you i'm a fruit inspector if i look at an apple tree i can tell if it's an apple if i look at an orange tree i can tell if it's an orange well you can't tell me you know man and you switching better than the women i'm not judging you i'm telling you you got a spirit of perversion and you need to be delivered and god is getting ready to bring judgment on the church because there's a spirit of perversion that is crept into the church nobody wants to preach on it because we got sisters in the pulpit we got sisters on the praise team we got sisters in the choir but God is getting ready to raise up people that's not going to compromise and going to call sin what it is I know you don't want to hear this kind of preaching but I need somebody to slap your neighbor and say tell it like it is you got to hear me tonight be seated. You got to hear me. You got to hear me. I really want you to hear me tonight because there's a spirit in the land and so many people are being deceived and you got to catch me. You got to hear me tonight. Somebody told me, they say, we're prophet carnal. You're hard. You're old school. Uh-uh. I'm not old school. I'm Bible. The Bible declares in Leviticus 10.10 10, that there must be a difference between the clean and the unclean, the holy and the unholy, the righteous 
righteous and the unrighteous. Second Corinthians six seventeen declares, "Come out from among them and be ye separated," saith the Lord. Touch not the unclean thing. The Bible declares in Amos chapter three verse three, "Can two walk together except they agree?" Now look at what the devil has did. They got some new thing out here now called Chrislam, where Christianity is mixing with Islam. How you going to mix with Islam when we serve in a different God? You serve Muhammad. We serve Jesus. Philippians chapter 2 verse 9 declares, Wherefore God has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that at that name every knee should bow and every tongue should confess that Jesus is Lord. Are you listening to me today? So there's a spirit in the land and this spirit is a lamb that got the church sitting around looking like a days ago you sitting up going from conference to conference meeting to meeting nobody's getting delivered nobody's getting set free people are going one way and leaving the same way they came and now they're saying that what you got to do is you got to adjust to the new age i'm not going to adjust to the new age when hebrews 13 and 8 declares that jesus christ is the same yesterday today and forevermore the same god that my grandmama had it's the same God I got to get her and the same God that your grandbaby's got to get her God getting ready to judge the church because some of you you used to have a standard but you done changed because of your children you're trying to fit in with your kids you used to then let them listen to what they wanted to listen to do what they want to do but now you're compromising but God told me the other day he said judgment is getting ready to begin in the house of the Lord and I'm telling God whatever's in me that's not like you I want you to get it out of me I don't want to come to church and die and go to hell I want to be saved I want to be holy if that's who I'm talking to jump on your feet and show glory we're changing sit down I'm almost through I ain't gonna hold you too long we're changing that's what we're doing we're changing we're changing because we want to fit in we're changing because we want to be liked you know I had a video that went viral because two two months ago not this month but last month I got on Daystar and I talked about that shooting that happened in Charleston South Carolina now the last time I was here I prophesied and I told y'all that every church that don't have the glory is getting ready to come up under attack I told you every church that don't have the glory is about to be robbed that you ain't seen murder you ain't seen suicide that's getting ready to happen in the church so I got on national television and I said something that made people mad I said that it's a shame that the enemy can walk in the church and nobody has discernment now I don't care if you don't like me I don't care if I ain't your friend I don't care if you don't invite me they sat up there it's all right baby they sat up there you ain't got the word it's anointing hey, I feel something up in here you ain't got to worry about nobody doing nothing to me up under this tent I got glory on me and the glory y'all ain't saying nothing to me in here I bind every yoke every stronghold up in here I feel deliverance about to hit this tent I feel an anointing about to come in here somebody is about to be set free I feel a glory I feel an anointing you better jump on your feet and shout glory You need to run to three people as they get ready, get ready, get ready! 